Hey there, John. Yeah, more than half the show at Apple yesterday spent on the Apple Watch and AirPods. And that's because even though the iPhone accounts for most profits and sales, it's wearables and accessories where a lot of the hardware growth is happening, despite a little slump last quarter. So on the watch side, not a lot new there, at least for the regular Series 8 model announced yesterday. The only significant new feature there is actually a temperature sen sensor for monitoring ovulation cycles, but it won't do much else. It can't even take your temperature to see if you have a fever, for example. And that's largely the same device it has been for the last couple of years. But the watch has a lot of room to grow. Tim Cook said last year, three out of every four watch buyers are buying the device for the very first time. And remember, there are more than one billion iPhoneers out there, so there's a lot of room to grow. Plus, marketing cheaper watches yesterday for kids so parents can track them if they don't have an iPhone. And the new SC model, which is cheaper, has a, a lot of the baseline Level features most people will want. Uh, by the way, there was also that $800 Apple Watch Ultra, which is a new category, going after those lucrative high-end fitness tracker market like, that's dominated by folks like Garmin right now. And more improvements on the AirPods Pro. It's the first update since the model first launched three years ago. Better battery life, noise cancellation, wireless charging, and the like. And there's also more room for AirPods to grow. Apple telling everyone yesterday the Pro is the best-selling model of AirPods. Uh, and look, these uh, products are also emblematic of Cook's Apple. Maximize iPhone sales and then sell more products and services around the iPhone to generate more revenue and growth. No real surprises yesterday, but that's the recipe Cook's been using for most of his tenure, John.